good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on what part of the world you are in. It has been a while, so let's see if I can remember to even how to stream. So, I built, let's go into, let's go into the game first, I'll show you what I've been working on. So let me find Richieville Zipped. Uh, between the weather and the Wi-Fi and the uh, home um, distance learning, the, it's been horrible. Rolling power outages, so it's been a mess. So I, I don't think it's probably been close to a week since I streamed. So I'll go until lunchtime, then I have some errands to run. So I probably won't be on um, long or I should say twice today, so it's only going to be one stream. But let me go in here, my test map. Show you a few things and then we're going to work on some uh, more placeable factories. And I built, I think, nine, nine or ten factories for the new map, but they're going to be kept secret until that map gets closer to being finished. These is products specific for the new map. So let me head over here. Let me just look through. Like I said, this is my test map. I've got factories and vehicles everywhere. Um, these are, let me zoom out and then I'll drive around. So these are going to be released next, well this coming Wednesday. So we have, come around here and I'll turn the camera. So we have the um, cow food mixer for TMR. We have the sheep food mixer, the piggy food mixer. Let me turn my vehicle a little bit. Uh, the horse food mixer. Uh, the goat food. Uh, donkey food. Dog food. Now we oh wrong way. Now we have the bird seed for the ducks and the chicken feed. So there's one set for Richieville, Richie's Hollow, Richie Islands, and then there's a separate set for the Hollow map, since the animals eat different foods on the different maps. So let me get over. here here so we have we now have a placeable drywall factory and this will work on Richieville Richie's Hollow or Richie Islands so this is now up and running I'm gonna send I just got this finished like late last night so I'm gonna get this to Dixie um, at some point tonight anybody in chat just let me know how the volume is because I've had a couple Windows updates and it usually messes up my volume my, all my settings we have a placeable mammoth mill so it makes everything that the regular mammoth mill makes just a lot smaller and placeable And we have a placeable refinery that you can um, make the biofuel with. So you can still make it with the um, coal, grain, 
and silage or you can make it with oil and then it'll make your plastic as well so have that um, that's up and running so I sent the Mammoth Mill and the refinery to Dixie for testing uh, late last night and then today I'll send her um, the drywall factory and then anything else we get built today I will get them to her as well so that's good to go let me get out of here and then we'll jump on working I'm gonna work on we're gonna work on the placeable textile mill today Let me see if I have, okay, I think I have volume. No one has responded in chats, but I think I have volume. So let's get into, let's get into, what am I working on, textile mill. So first thing I wanna do is I wanna clean up this file and I wanna bring over the correct smoke particle. and import that into my files. Um, oh, I gotta take a closer look at my phone. My eyeballs are not working too well this morning. A uh, EMTA, I'm a tall gamer, I'm a tall gamer, sorry about that. I am working on a placeable textile mill today for, that'll work on all the maps except for Homestead. But the weather's been absolutely crazy. Uh, the Wi-Fi's been terrible. The internet's been terrible. Uh, we've had rolling blackouts because of power shortages. So this is the first time I can get on in about a week to even stream. All right, so we've got my we've got our smoke particle in here now. Now I want to clean up couple things I need to clean up. I need to clean up this. So we have our particle system shader in there now. Uh, we have our smoke particle in there now. Uh, we don't need the spray particle so I'm going to delete that. So that won't be an issue. So now let's pull this up. I want to make it a lot smaller and it'll be easier to place. So the placeable factories, I'm trying to make a lot smaller than what's been built into the map. Uh, and I think I have a couple of water sprays or something in here that I thought I got rid of, but I didn't. Yeah, these have to go. And then I'm gonna, and then this can go. We don't need this as well because the placeables we're not gonna do. I'm not gonna do like trash and sewage. It's just going to be what the product makes. All right, so you for now can come back a little bit this building is going to come back. I'm just going to slide everything back and make this a lot more compact. And I think I may even get rid of this because we really don't need it. It's out of place. So let's bring this back and get it centered. And we'll make this factory a lot smaller. But if anybody can let me know how the volume is, because like I said, I had a couple of Windows updates and it usually messes up my settings. Let's 
so I, but I pulled the textile factory out of the map this morning and now we just got to make it compact and make it work and then we'll mess with signs and lighting and get all that stuff in place once I get the factory down to the size I want it we will definitely try and get this centered. Actually, I'm going to pull it down this way because we're going to put our spawners over here to spawn our pallets out with. So let's grab. Can I pull? Maybe I can. Let's see if we can pull this whole thing over and get the spawners with it at the same time. Alright, uh, so my spawners are where? Start. Perfect. And, and so our pallets will spawn there. Alright, I gotta turn my phone up to see if I have. Let me do a quick volume test. Do a quick volume test. Oh, okay, so I do have volume. Alright. Sorry about that. I just I wasn't sure if it was working or not. So now I wanna try and confine this factory into a smaller space so let's try and get it down as small as possible And we'll pull all the other components back in. All right, so that'll work. All right, so let's go. Let's pull the front parking back in for the employees to park their cars. And this one. And then we'll fix all the lighting and the smoke particles. And the signs. All right, let's see. These should all be good. Power poles are good. Parking's good. All right, so let's get you pulled back over. Uh, and out. I can live with that. Now, where are you? You're out here on the warehouse I eliminated. So let's move you over on this side. And we'll get you adjusted. And then that one I'm just going to delete. So let us get this one in place and try and pull it out. I know I'm covering the windows but I don't mind. Right, but that'll work. So that's back in place. So we have our all of our triggers are in place. Um, what are my inputs and outputs real quick? So we have no liquid, so I don't need this second trigger, so that can get deleted. Uh, so that's all in place. Let's fix our lighting. And get that back into place. 
and we'll fix our smoke particles. And it looks like the bots and the trolls are out today. But it wouldn't be a stream without bots and trolls. this side this one back in and then there should be one more so we'll get this one back in so that's our lighting put back Pallet spawners are good. Where are my smoke particles? Because they're probably now all messed up. They are. Uh, so let's move you over here. Where's this one at? Alright, so we gotta fix them both. Alright. So let me grab number three. I'll throw that one over here. Actually, let me undo that a second. Let's go here. And now I can fix this. Alright, so that's that one. Let's get the other one over here. Uh, let me go zero these out a minute. And then take you to zero. So now you're nice and flat. So unfortunately, it's going to be a lot of uh, XML work. All right, so that's taken care of. Let's go through these. So we're in is taken care of. Uh, we have no out. <coughs> oh, yeah, everything with the main transform group is good. Our particle systems are good. Our spawners are good. Our lighting is good. Audio. Let's put our audio back in place. Alright, so there's our audio in place, and then our player trigger, we're going to move, but I need a tour icon first, so I'm going to go file, import, I'm going to import the leather factory, doesn't matter which one I import, and I'm just going to grab my icon. And we're going to throw it in here. And then delete the factory back out. So now I just got to figure out where I want the icon and the player trigger. So our pallets are going to spawn out over here. So let's put this here. And then let's move our player trigger over for the global company menu to about there. Now I think I want to put a fence behind. I want to grab a fence and put it behind that racking. So I'm going to import in uh, which factory do we actually build? I think species scrambles. If not, I can 
Let's see if this one has the fence I want. It does. So I'm going to grab just a fence section out of here. So I want a fence. Oh, that's a chain link. I don't want the chain link. I want the wooden one. You perfect. So I am going to go edit, cut. I'm going to paste it into my factory. And then we're going to delete the second factory back out. So all I should have now is the fence I want. And it is. So let's get this. In place. this one out a little bit and it will take this one and we'll stretch that one out a little bit and that gets the fence in place I want let me take take this sign let's duplicate that sign Let's bring the sign over. And we'll get it back here on the fence somewhere. That'll work. So we have, let's just go through this. So in is finished. Uh, we have no out. Main is finished. Particle systems are done. We have our spawners in place. We have our lighting in place. Camera's done. Audio's done. Player trigger's done. Tour icon is done. I'm going to save this and close it. And then I'm going to see what textures are messed up. And I have to bring two more texture files in. And I'm going to open this back up. I'm going to go to, doesn't matter, Leatherworks is fine. And I need these two, I, these two uh, textures. And then we can fix this and this one. So all of our textures look like they're fixed. So when I open this i3D back up, there shouldn't be any errors at all. And on the bottom here, my console there's no errors in all the texture. So this is going to be our textile factory. Now we got to get it working. So I'm going to bring I am going to bring everything over from Mammoth Mill and then we'll change it as we go. So I need scripts, I need this, I need this. I need all of these. So we're going to copy those into here crap uh, into I lost my into here what are we working on textile mill into here and this gives me all the files we need to change to make this factory work farm chick 63 good morning it's been a while I can't stream 
long today, but I do have some errands to run. This is the first day we can actually get out of the house in a week. So I'll probably go up to about 11.30, and then I gotta get out of here. I gotta get my car cleaned off, which I haven't even cleaned the snow off my car yet. And then I gotta run for gas and get some errands done. All right, so the first thing we're going to fix is the store icon. And let me get rid of all this. I was working on an ice cube factory this morning. So let me get rid of all this that I don't need. Because we're going to be making something out of ice cubes. So I got the ice cube factory built this morning. But we're going to work on... Let's fix the store logo first so it's actually the textile mill when we go to buy it uh, so let's grab this and paste it into here That'll work. And then let's go like so. Uh, a little bit bigger. All right, that'll work. All right, so there's our store done. Now let's fix our mod description. Oh, we got to bring all the pallets in before we can fix the mod description. All right, hold on. So I need a new folder for pallets. So let's go into the Ritchieville map. I'm going to go objects, pallets, global company. Let me grab my list. We got a foot and a half here in the Ozarks of Upper Arkansas. I hope you um, fared better than we did. Between the two storms, we probably got about eight inches, eight or nine inches between the two storms. But it's the high today is supposed to be like 20 because we've been like right at zero or below zero. So the high today is 20. The high don't, it's, we're, and we're going up by 10 degrees every day. And by Tuesday of next week, it's going to be 63 degrees. So... It's going to be in the 50s over the weekend and in the 60s, like Monday and Tuesday. So we'll have all this crap melted by, by Sunday. All right, so I need, let's grab all of the pallets we need. So we're going to make sacks. So we need the sacks pallet. Um, so I just got to transfer all of my pallets into the factory. Let's go file, export. Uh, we are working on the textile mill and pallets. So this one is sex pallet. And sex XML. All right, what's next on the list? Wallpaper. So let's grab wallpaper. We didn't want to do that. All right, wallpaper, there we go. I want the I3D. And I know it's spelt wrong, and I gotta spell it wrong when I transfer it over. Let's go file, export, and I think I'm missing an L. W-A-L, paper, palette. And I gotta keep it consistent for all the maps, so it's gonna stay misspelled. And we'll copy this over. And now we need bayonet. Oh, I forget what it's called. I don't know if it's bayonet or netting. Uh, bail twine. I need that one as well, so let's grab that one. So let's go file export and it is called ale twine 
call it. And it will grab the XML. And then I think the other one is called Netroll Palette or something like that. Yeah, Netroll Palette. So let's grab that one. Grab the XML for that one. All right, so that takes care of that. Uh, yeah, I think someone made Mother Nature mad. They need to apologize. Yeah, probably. All right, so we need the face mask palette. So grab that one. Grab the face mask XML. Right, what's next on my list? Swimsuit. Uh, swimsuit palette. And we'll export that one out. Swimsuit XML. And then what do we have? Doggy sweater. And I think the doggy sweater palette got messed up when I imported the mitten palette into the maps. So I'm going to have to fix that for the next update. Alright, so we want, if I can find it. Um, I think it's, yeah, it's called the doggy palette. Yeah, this is my, and I think it actually has the mint picture on it now. I think it got messed up. It does. So we're going to have to fix this. So let's go file, export, uh, doggy palette. And the doggy palette XML. And then we need, I'm going to actually throw mittens in here as well. Because we're going to have this factory make mittens as well. So let's grab our mitten palette. File, export. Grab the mitten XML and now we'll see if I missed any of my list. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And how many are my list? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hey, we got them all. All right. Now I know, so let's open up the doggy palette and it's the doggy this one so the mitten palette overwrote so we need to make a new let me rename this one so let's also open up the mitten palette and we're going to rename this one mitten and now we're going to rename uh, let me close this texture and we're going to rename this texture min so that will fix that one now we got to fix the doggy palette now I think I have if I can find it I had a open copy right here I think uh, objects, palettes, 
global company textures. Let's see if I still have the doggy one. Or if I'm going to have to remake it. No, we do. So let's copy this one into here. And that's going to fix our doggy palette. So I'm going to actually, actually, I'm going to have to fix those in the maps on the next update because it, when you go to spawn out the doggy sweaters, it's going to look like the mitten. So that's on my list to fix for the next update. All right, so now we have all of our palettes, or all of our, yeah, all of our palettes. So this one, I'm going to minimize to get out of my way. So we're going to open up the first one. And now we can go, I can go full screen here for a little bit. I got to, I have to fix the pathing or the pallet will not spawn out of the factory. And then we have to go back to our mod description. Uh, so that I can close the mint pallet I can close. So now we're going to fix this as this is now going to be textile mill and we are making all right what are we making we are making sacks wallpaper bayonet bail twine face mask, a swimsuit, doggy sweater, and men. Alright, our XML is going to be textile small t. Hold on. Textile Mill is going to be our XML. Now we have to change these to all of our new palettes. So this first one up is Bale Twine Palette. So our Bale Twine Palette. I'm just going to make notes for myself as I go because I know these are all different, um, all different capacities. So I'll have to fix those as we go. So that's the first one. Alright, next up is our doggy palette. And again, we'll fix the pathing. And then we'll add them to the mod description. So next one up is doggy palette. Alright, so that one's fixed. Face mask, and then the mod description. Our face mask palette. Sassy155, hello. It is getting much, much better. The uh, Our power situation has gone back to normal, so there's no more, they're not calling for any more rolling power blackouts. It's more, it's, we were like right ar around zero or below zero for the last like five days. So it's 21 degrees today. And then each day is going up by like 10 degrees. And we're going to be in the 50s on Saturday and Sunday and in the 60s on Monday and Tuesday. So it's been, it's been crazy. But I have not been able to stream at all because of the power and the internet. Alright, so next up is the mitten palette. So we're going to add, what's, on the next map update, we're going to be making mittens in 
with the exception of the homestead map, we're going to make I'm going to add mittens to all the uh, textile mills. All right, so there's our mitten palette. So let's add that to our mod description. So that one is now fixed. Um, and then I, once we go in game to test this one, I'll show you what I've been working on. All right, so next up is the net roll palette. And we'll fix the pathing and then add it to our mod description. So net roll. I don't need the key, the palette's already in there. So that one is fixed. Next up are sacks. So let's get this one fixed. Because in game it's a different path than it is in the placeable. Alright, so let's add that to our mod description. Alright, so that palette is done. Next one up is a swimsuit. And we'll get that one in our mod description. A swimsuit palette. So that one is done. And then our last one should be our wallpaper palette. that one to our mod description so we are is it all lowercase it is so there's our wallpaper palette and then this one we don't need and this one we don't need so this is our our uh, mod description XML and so that's now fixed so let's work on, let's rename this. Let's, oh, we've got to do our 110 first. So let's open up our 110. We're going to change Mammoth Mill to Textile Mill. Let's get them fixed first. And then it's going to be Textile mill. And we are making sacks, wallpaper, veil net, veil twine, face mask. Swimsuit, doggy sweater, and mitten. All right, so our inputs are going to change. So our inputs are going to be plastic, uh, crate. Cotton, uh, what's the, uh, wool, and then how many more do I need? I need one, two, three, four, five more. So let's copy these four and put them here. And we're going to have to add one more. Uh, let's, let's just add one more and be done. And so let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. 
All right, so after wool is water. And then cashmere. Diesel. Paper and glue. that our inputs are done first one is going to be uh, what's the first on my list <laughs> sacks and then we're gonna make wallpaper Actually, I want to look at something really quick. I want to look at the 110 for Richieville just to make sure I'm in the same order. Uh, yep, Saks wallpaper. Um, then we're going to do bayonet. So let me just copy these. So we're going to go wallpaper. Bayonet, bale twine. Uh, what's next? Face mask, uh, face mask production. Then we'll go swimsuit. And after, after swimsuit, doggy sweater, uh, so doggy sweater, and I'll come back and fix. And then we're going to do mitten. And then we're not going to have a nine. So actually, I could have deleted that one. And then this one we're just going to call it production. Uh, so let's go. So let's go bail net bail twine uh, face mask swimsuit. And we're going to go doggy, sweater, mitten, and then our, our overall production. So, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Everything looks good there. Um, so, that is our 110 done. So, now let's go. Uh, we're going to rename this to textile mill. So now we can start working on our, so all of Mammoth. So your textile mill, you are textile mill and in our I3D is now gonna be textile mill. Our inputs, are plastic crate cotton wool water cashmere diesel paper and glue That's taken care of. Our hot spot is going to be textile mill. And textile mill. And then uh, change our save ID is 
going to be textile mill, and then everything else I can go search and replace. Alright. And now I want to pull up, so that gets us. partly done. Uh, there is no trigger 2 so I can delete this. Now I want to pull up I'm going to go into the Ritchieville map. We're going to go into Placeables Global Company. I'm going to pull up the Textile Mill XML because we're going to do a lot of copying and pasting. So first one is going to be so let's get rid of this wood because this thing, we're not going to have wood and this thing is just a mess to try and fix. So let's just get rid of you for now. And then our first input, do we have, we have, okay, so first input is plastic. And then our fill type, we only need one and it's going to be plastic. Um, we don't have a mover so that can get deleted. So that'll clean this one up but it's now input one. And my trigger is good. So now let me go see if we only have one input trigger which I think we do. We do. So there's the one input trigger for everything. So I don't have to do anything there. So that can just stay good. So everything's going to go into one trigger. All right, second up is going to be crate. So now we just copy this. And then we change this to number two. Two and then we go crate and our input is going to be crate and those and they have to line up with this so third one is going to be cotton. So now we just start, now we just will cut and paste all the rest of our inputs in. So you are going to be three, what did I say number three was? Cotton. So you are cotton. Our fill type is cotton. So next up is going to be wool. And you're going to be number four. So you're going to be wool. And you're going to be wool. So that's number four. Number five is water. So we'll change this number five. And you are water. And you are water. All right, so next up. Um, so change this to number six. Number six is cashmere. All right, so that is our cashmere. Um, so number seven is diesel. And 
and I got to go back because all of those have to be capital letters. Hang on. Uh, this has to be caps. This has to be caps. Um, this has to be caps. This, my, I messed them all up. And, okay, so we're good there. Alright, so where did we leave off? We left off with diesel. So number eight is, we got paper and then glue. So this one is paper. Our fill type is paper. And then our last one is going to be number nine. And it is going to be glue. And it is going to be glue. So those are all of our inputs. Now we have some visibility nodes we have to put back in. So the first one is crate. So I'm going to go over here to the textile mill. I'm going to grab this command. And we're going to move it over here for crates. And our visibility node is 0, 1, 0. So that didn't change. Our second one is for plastic. So let's go to the old textile mill and let's find our plastic. Let's grab this command and move it over to here. And it was number 0, 1, and 1, so I don't have to renumber that one. And then our last one was for paper. So let's come over to this one. And we'll find paper. And we'll steal this command. And we'll add that to our paper. And it should be should fall in place. Yep, zero one two. So that is our paper. So that is our those are our inputs done. So now let's start working on our outputs. Now we only have I think one spawner on this one. Yeah, so it's only going to be start one to end one. So our product's going to spawn in this block right here. We're going to put some signs in there as well in a minute. But let's get our um, XMLs done. So our first, in, and actually I can, this one's going to be even easier. First one up is Saks. So we can copy this over to here. Um, there's no visibility node, so that can get deleted. Now we just have to change our pathing. Alright, so that's the first one. The second one's going to be wallpaper. So let's bring that one over. We just have to change our path. And no visibility node. All right, so after wallpaper, we have bail net. So let's grab that one. And it's going to go here. And 
this gets changed. And then this can go. Alright, so bail net is done. Next up is bail twine. We'll pull that one over. get rid of the visibility. So bale twine is done. We'll pull face mask over. And again we'll fix the path. And then we'll get rid of the visibility. Alright, so face mask is done. Swimsuit is going to go here. It's making it's easier to make these placeables now because most of the XML work is done and all I got to do is cut and paste so it's making it a little bit easier to convert the factories from in-game to a placeable alright so no wood chips so we're gonna be doggy sweater visibility so that can go so there's our doggy sweater done no sewage no trash but we are going to go here and we're going to name this one min these will make our mittens in the same factory since it has all the inputs and outputs that we already need And then the palette is going to be a mint palette. And then we can delete drill pipe, um, barrels, empty kegs, and crates. Alright, so those are all of our outputs done. Now, production line one. We're going to grab our inputs. Our actually, I'm going to grab everything that's in here, and we're going to move it over to here. All right. So we have our plastic, our water, and our diesel. We're going to make sacks. We're going to get rid of the sewage and the trash. We have our audio, we have our smoke. I don't need the water spray. But we do have a smoke particle. What's my output per hour? 12,000. So let's bump this up to 12,000. All right, so those are our sacks. Uh, next up is... And again, I'm just going to grab all of this. And we're going to move it over here. So that was line one. Line two. Uh, we're going to put in paper, glue, water, and diesel. We're going to get wallpaper. No sewage and no trash. And 12,000 liters an hour. So the NN, if there's no spray particle, and we only have, I think we only have smoke, let me just double check. Where are our power? Yeah, we only have smoke two and three, so we don't need any more operating parts. 
So that's our wallpaper line. So sacks are done, wallpaper's done. Product line three has to be bail net. So all I need now are inputs and outputs. And we have to change it to 30 an hour. So our line three And it's 30 an hour because that's how the bail net is. I can't change that. And then we can get rid of sewage. So there's our bail net done. After bail net, we have bail twine. <clears throat> and then all I need are the inputs and outputs. And then we'll get rid of sewage. And then our bale twine has to stay at 100. There we go. All right, so that's line four done. After bale twine, we have face mask. So I'm gonna grab our inputs and outputs. What number was that? Number five. So number five goes here. So paper, plastic, water, diesel. We're making face mask. No sewage, no trash. And face masks, I can go down to eight. All right, so after face mask, we're going to have swimsuit. And that's number six. And get rid of sewage. And that can stay at eight. All right, so after swimsuits, we have our doggy sweaters. So let's grab those. And it should be number seven. And no sewage. And then it can go to eight. And then number eight is mitten, but we're not making mitten here. So I'm going to have to open up. Uh, let's open up Homestead Mitten Mania. And then let's copy um, mittens. Let's copy our inputs and our outputs. So what did I say? Mittens is going to be production line number eight. So production line number eight are going to be our mittens. And that can go down to eight. And then our last one is just our overall production. So now I can just come back over here. I can copy all my inputs and outputs over to here. And we're going to actually go um, so that's number nine. So that can go here. I this production line we're not going to need so that can get deleted um, now I do need to put in so we're going to eliminate we have all the same inputs and none of that's going to change but we're going to have to we're going to have to add mitten we can eliminate trash this one's just for the global company menu, so it has to stay at zero. But I need this player trigger command. It has to go in here. And this is going to show us our global company menu when we walk up to it. 
let me just make sure I don't have two of them in there. All right, so production line one, we have our audio, we have our smoke. Production line two, we have our smoke three, and everything else here looks good. So those are all of our outputs done. All of our production lines are done. Now I'm going to move, since I took the textile mill out of the map, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to replace everything in here and it'll be easier to, to do our i3D mapping and then we'll work up and then we'll worry about our lights. All right, so now we go back up to the top. And let's get our i3D mapping done. So let's start with what's first on the list. First on the list are our clear areas, our leveling, and our seasons mask. Right now it's number eight, but that has to, ooh, I didn't fix it. All right, hold on. All right, so we gotta fix our, our we gotta make our four corners where the factory spawns into the game. And then I need a couple of signs. So what I'm going to do, so I'm going to go File, Import. I'm going to import in, let's import in a table factory. I think it has what I need. Uh, I'm going to grab this command for the clear areas. I'm going to go Edit cut and paste so that's done and then I'm going to see if this has the sign I need it does so I'm going to grab one of the loading zones I'm going to go edit cut and paste into here now I can delete this factory back out So loading zone, where are you? I don't even know where it is. Uh, let's just zero out so I can find you. Okay, let's do it the hard way. Uh, so it needs to be just off the ground. So our pallets are gonna spawn in here. So we'll face one that way, we'll face one this way. So you know where the pallets spawn. And now our clear areas. Um, so start. All right, so our start. So we have to tell the factory where to spawn into the map. So there's our start point. This is how wide it's going to spawn in. And then we only want it to go to here. So this will be our last corner. So this tells the factory where to spawn into the map. And that's going to be number 10. So all of these eights now get changed to 10. Uh, these get changed to 10, 10, and 10. And then our seasons mask. is 10. Our hot spot is going to be number 9. So this gets changed to 9. And that's everything done up top. So the only thing we have to fix now, 
Um, so our camera is going to be six. None of this should change. Camera six. Um, our, so we have zero, 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 one, and zero, zero, two. So they haven't changed. Player trigger is number eight. Uh, where's our particle systems? So, oh, you are going to change. So you're going to be 300 and then 310. So you're 300 and 310. Uh, we eliminated the spray, so I don't need those. Our audio is number seven. Uh, there's no trigger two, so that can get deleted. And then our start one and start, our end one are where our pallets actually spawn into the game. So that's going to be 410 and 41000. So that's all fixed. So the only thing we have to fix now is our lighting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These three can go. First one is going to be five, zero, one, and zero. So these get changed to a five. And actually, I'm going to make this even a little bit easier on myself. I'm going to grab these three, and I'm going to overwrite these three. So you should be five, four, five, and six. And we'll, oops, six, and we'll double check that. So our last light bulb is five, six, ten. All right, so a couple things I want to do now. Let's. I'm going to save this again, and I'm going to close it, and then we are going to come back into here to textile mill because we have a couple more textures to fix now. We have to fix the loading zone. So let me save that, and then in our texture file have to bring over the loading zone and it's not in this factory. Um, which factory did I grab it from? Table factory. We need a loading zone. Alright, so that fixes. Alright, so let's see. Pallets are done, particle systems are done. Yep. Scripts are done, textures are done. Everything here is done, so let's open this back up. There's no errors in it, so let's get rid of the base and save it. Let's close it. Let's zip it up. And then let's go to my Ritchieville test map folder. We're going to plop this in there and let's see if the textile mill will even spawn into the game and if it spawns into the game how many errors it has. I hope everyone is doing well today. Everybody surviving the weather and the storms. Alright, let's see if the textile mill is even in the store. That'll be the first good sign. Uh-oh, I don't see it. Or did I pass it? Okay, so I messed something up already. I don't even see it. All right. 
So let's get out of here. And see what I messed up. And so let's go to let's go to the log first. Sometimes it tells me, sometimes it doesn't. Nope. Alright, so let's see what I messed up. So let's go to the mod description, store DDS, store. So that's correct there. Textile mill XML. Um, textile mill XML. So that's correct. Now let's look at the factory. So the factory is telling me it should also be store, and it is. So our store should be this. So why did it not spawn in? Maybe I just missed it. Let's try that again. So let me go. Let's do this again. Uh, or did I not put it in the folder? So let's go copy. I don't know if I put it in the folder. I did and paste. It's in there. Why is it not showing up in game? Am I in the right folder? No, I'm in the wrong folder, that's why. Hold on, I want Richieville zipped. That'll help. I didn't put it in my test map. When we get in game, I'll show you what I've got built so far. And we'll go over what is still left on the list. should have, there it is, perfect. So now we can activate our textile mill and it should show up in game. I am making, while this is loading, I am making placeable fact, because I want the new map to be all place your own. So everything I'm building will not be built into the map. But what's nice about it is we can use everything I'm building on Richieville, Richie Hollow, Richie Islands, and the new map. So we are building placeable Mammoth Mill, Orchards, Greenhouses, Refinery, Slaughterhouse, Poultry House, Cement Plant, Textile Mill, Stone Processing, Dairy and Mill, Evaporator, Smokehouse, Apiary, Beehives, Power Cell Production, a Drywall Factory, and Glue Factory. So we're going to have all those as placeables that we can use on all the maps except for a homestead. So let me flip this is my test map and it's a complete disaster. Let me show you the for anybody that didn't see it, I'll show you the um, so here are the new feed mills that I'm going to release on Wednesday. So there's the cow. Uh, the sheep. The piggies. Um, the horse feed mix. The goats. donkeys, make your dog food, make your bird seed for the ducks, and then you can make your chicken feed. So those are the feed mills. But I want to head over here. <coughs> so let me zoom this camera out. Sorry, let me grab a quick sip of coffee. All right. So we have the placeable um, drywall factory. I finished this one up. I can't remember. It was either late last night or early this morning. So we have the placeable drywall factory. 
I'm going to send this to Dixie today. We have placeable, this is actually placeable mammoth mill. It's nice and small. And it literally makes everything that Mammoth Mill makes. So you have your your paper, your lumber, your plywood, your pallets, firewood steel, drill pipe barrel, your empty kegs, and your crates. So we're all I sent this one to Dixie last night. And then we have the placeable. Oh, sorry about that. So now we have the placeable refinery. So we have we have our biofuel, which is made out of coal, grain, and silage. Bring your crude oil in; it makes diesel, and then bring your oil and crates, and it'll make your plastic. So I sent that one to Dixie yesterday. So now let's see if we can get the uh, textile mill. Let's see how many errors it's going to throw or if it's going to work. Textile mill. Do I have room anywhere over here to test this thing? No, let's go this way. Uh, yeah, I don't mind sacrifice. This is my test map, so I don't care about fields. All right, placeable textile mill. So make sure nothing's floating. So now we have a placeable textile mill. It's nice and small. Oh, we have to put a couple parked cars in. So let's let's put our parked cars in. And I want to change it so it doesn't spawn in on dirt. So it spawns in on like asphalt. So let's quit out of here real quick. do a quick exit without saving so let me grab let's go back in here uh, so let's grab our textile mill let's open that back up all right so let me go to let's leave this oh let me just throw Just something to work on. All right, so we just have a base to work off of. Now I'm going to go into. Let's go into the new map. Because it's easier for me to go into the new map and grab what I need. I haven't worked on a new map at all since I streamed last. I've been working on literally like 30 factories. Nine factories for the new map that I'm keeping secret. And then I'm trying to make everything placeable for the existing factories. And then once that's done, because we're going to need it all for the new map anyway. So once all the placeable factories are done and I'm caught up on factories and I'm like 10 ahead, then we can just work really, really hard on the new map. All right, so let me grab a little bit of speed. The only thing I did is I came in here and I, I wanted to see if I can connect. Let me grab my script. I wanted to see if I could connect because we're going to have the train running through here so we can drop off by truck or train and I'm going to connect it to the one in the valley. So let's say I have a big cornfield down here in the valley and I drop off so I can, let's say there's a big cornfield here, I harvest my corn, 
I can drop it off in this station down here. These will be connected. I'll be able to pick it up with the train here and then drive it over here to Central Station. If I don't want to drive it by truck. Because by train I can bring six different products over to the Central Station at one time. And then somewhere over here it will be Central Station so we can transfer from train to train, train to truck or whatever. But I want to grab a couple cars for the placeable factory we're working on. So let's grab this guy. So I'm going to go File, Export. Uh, we are working in the textile mill. So I'm going to go whatever it's named in this here. So let's grab that car and then let's grab, I don't know, this guy looks pretty good. So let's grab this guy. Do I want to put uh, let's see if I can make this work. Let's grab one of these, the Ford Transit. Let's grab a Ford. All right, so let's close this map. I'm going to leave that open a minute. So I know I'm going to have to fix some texture. So let's go into, let's open up the Ford. Let's open up the car. Let's open up the Ranchero. So we've got to fix all the textures. So new buildings, textures. So I need all of these. So I'm going to copy those into my texture folder. And then this extra file that popped in here, we can, since the only thing in it was textures, so I can delete it. And now we can come back to here and we can fix all of this just textures. And then we need we have to make sure we have our particle system shader. So that fixes the ranchero. Let me just see if we have uh, we don't have shaders. Yeah we have our particle system shader. So that's already fixed. So that is the ranchero fixed. That is the car fixed, and let's fix the Ford. All right, so those are our all of our texture pathing is fixed. So now let's go in here. So let's go file import. Let's import the car. get this in here make it look like someone's actually working here all right so that is that one let's back it up a little bit all right let's import the Ranchero in. So let's spin him this way. And 
get him back to it, something like that. Now let's bring in the Ford. I'll, what I want to do is I'm going to actually I'm going to do now I'm going to leave him parked like that a second and I want to see something let's pull him up so his tires are not in the ground and then I actually want to see I don't even know if this is going to work but I want to try something I'm going to grab uh, where's my sign I grab the sign I want to <coughs> Duplicated a second. Spin you this way. I guess I don't know if this is going to work. This is just an experiment, but I want to try something. So let's take you down. And let's pull you over. Let's roll you up a little bit. So let's go a little bit shorter. And go something like that. And then let's take that. So let's slide this whole thing out a little bit so we have room to work. So let's take that sign and I'm going to duplicate it. Um, so we're at 5.07. So let's go minus. And that should tilt it the opposite way. So let's turn it around this way. Bring it back. Now it should fit on this side. of the van. Again, this is just decoration. So, all right, so there we go. So now we have our van with our textile logos on it. So let's get, I'm just gonna park one like this way, like he's in here loading something. And we'll come over here and we'll bring another one over. And we'll get him parked over here. So they're ready to make some deliveries. Alright, so now we can, we can get rid of our base. And let's save this again. Busy, busy, that's all. <laughs> Who's uh, Sassy one's been busy as well? <clears throat> I've been working on factories like non-stop for like the last 10 days all right so let's close that now i can delete this i3d i can delete this i3d and i can delete though that i3d because they're now in the factory so let's make sure all of our texture pathing is good so that it is and then I like to open it up one more time just to make sure there's no errors in it before I zip it back up and there's not. Alright, now I need to change. I don't want this spawning in on dirt. I want it spawning in on 
asphalt. So let's change the dirt to asphalt. Alright, so that fixes that. So now let's take this, delete this one. Let's zip this back up. And we'll copy it. Uh, let me go back into my mods folder. Throw it in my test map. All right, now let's go back in. Let's crank our map back up. And let's see if it's going to spawn in the way I want it to spawn in now. I'm going to reactivate it because I didn't save. And it's here. Hopefully, <clears throat> hopefully it looks the way I want it to look. Oh, you mean, I was the I've been busy. I've I've it's been st I've been stuck in the house. We haven't been out of the house for a week because of the weather. So, and I never sleep well. I only get like three or four hours of sleep to begin with. So I've been busy. Um, as much as I can stay busy with however long I can sit in the desk chair. Alright, the first thing I want to do is I want to get rid of the rest of this crop, so bear with me a minute. Let's get rid of... Let's go in here a minute. Spin my camera around. Uh, let me just find... It's any grass texture, it doesn't matter. This one will work. So let's go make you as big as I can. So let's, let me just get rid of some of this mess and then we can put the factory down. Because like I said, this is my test map, so it really doesn't matter what it looks like. I don't play on this map. But let's just get rid of this mess. We have something to work on. All right, that should do. I'm going to do a quick save in case anything goes wrong when I plop this factory down. Alright, so now it should spawn in with asphalt. Oh, wrong one. Placeables. Let's grab our textile mill. Okay, where's the textile mill? I'm, I'm either blind or it wasn't there. It was there the first time. There it is. I just went right by it. Alright, so let's plop our textile mill down. Now, this time it should spawn in on asphalt. There we go. That's what it's supposed to look like. So now we have our... We have our fleet of vehicles ready to go. We got some employees in here. Let's see if we have any errors here. Alright, so this looks good. Alright, so now let me uh, I'm gonna do one thing really quick. Let me just get out of here one second. And let me check the log before we start testing this.
Let me just make sure there's no errors in the log with this factory. And we do have some errors. So what did I mess up? Textile mill. Oh, man. I messed something up. Alright, so let's get out of here. I'm going to, again, I'm going to exit with, without saving. And let's see what I messed up. Alright, so the first one is telling me there's an invalid fill type of min. So let's go into. Oh, I know what I probably did. My This map, my test map, probably doesn't have the fill type min in it. So let's check. Um, hold on. So my test map is dated 2-1 at 10.05. My working map is dated oh same one let's see if we have fill type mitten i may not even have mitten in the map oh hang on control find mitten oh because it's mittens plural okay so there there's where we messed up so now let's go back to let me close that let me close this let's go back in here and our output is mittens with an S and our fill type is mittens with an S our 110 now has to be mittens with an S so that takes care of that fill type input palettes does not exist so back to the textile mill. We're not inputting. Are we inputting pallets? We're not inputting pallets. We're inputting crates. Plastic, water, diesel, paper glue. Oh, I know what I did wrong. It's the um, the mitten factory. Um, we have to change this to uh, crate. I'm not even going to put it in. We're just going to make. We're going to just use the wool to make our mittens with. Let's get rid of the pallets altogether. So that should take care of. Let's go back to the log. So that takes care of this first Lua error with these fill types. And then. 1, 5, and 0 index is not found. So let's go back to our textile mill. And what do we have as 1, 5, 0? It's got to be one of the visibility nodes. No. So what do we have as 1, 5, and 0? I don't see anything as one five and zero. Let's go back to the log. Textile mill index one five zero is not found. Alright, so let's go back here. Actually let's do this. Go to our log. I'm gonna go control C. We're gonna go to the textile mill. We're gonna come all the way up to the top. I'm gonna go control F. And I'm going to put that in here. Let's see if we can find it. Aha, visibility node for swimsuits we forgot to take out. So that can get deleted. So that'll take care of that Lua error. So that should clean up all of our errors. So let's go back to Richieville Zipped. Let's go back to our textile mill. So let's delete this. 
and let's zip it back up. So we're going to go copy and paste. Now let's go back into the map and see if that gets rid of all of our errors in the factory. And like I said, unfortunately, I can't uh, stream long today. I do have some errands to run. Uh, so let me... Oh, it is already checked. Okay. So let's jump back in here. So I do have to keep an eye on the time. I have to get out of here about 11.30, 11.15, somewhere in there. So I do have some errands to run. And I don't know if I'll be back on this afternoon or not. It depends on what time I get back home. This is going to take me 20 minutes just to get my car cleaned off and running and warmed up. All right, so let's go back over here. Yeah, back over here, let me grab some speed. Is there a back entrance? There is. All right, so let's go into the store. Let's plop the textile mill back down again. check it again for errors. So once again, there shouldn't be any errors here. So let me go back to the log and make sure all the Lua errors are gone. And they are. So the factory is now error free. Now I'm not going to do a, a full test on this because I don't have a lot of this product to put in here. So I'm just going to drop a couple things in to make sure the trigger works and I'll let Dixie do uh, the full test on it. So let's grab, let's grab a load of crates and then I'll throw in some wool or paper or something. What else? What are face, what are face masks? Paper. I don't have any plastic. So probably the only thing I can check is our mittens. We'll throw in some wool. Paper, plastic. Oh, I can, yeah, I can, no, I don't have plastic without driving all the way across the map. I might be able to put cotton and wool in. We'll see what we can test. Right, let me find my trailer and we'll see what I can grab. Uh, wrong one. You. All right. So let's grab you. Get out of here. Come over here. Like I said I don't need to do a full test. I just need to make sure the triggers work. Right, so I throw in some water. And then we'll throw in some diesel. So and it's, if, if it'll take one pallet, it'll take all the pallets. I do want to check the trigger. Oh, it's taking way too much diesel. We're going to have to go in and adjust that down to 50,000 liters. So let's drop you over here where I know where you're at. And then I 
should have an auto load truck sitting over here somewhere. So let's grab. I know I have some uh, crates right over here. So I just want to grab a load of crates. And then if time is it now, like 10.35, we'll see how far we get on the next factory. I'll try and pick something a little bit easier, something a little bit quicker to convert. All right, let's grab a load of crates. And again, you'll be able to use this on Hollowville and Islands and the new map. It will not work on Homestead. Alright, so now I'm hoping this trigger is gonna work. We don't have to adjust it. Oh, are you really going to leave one pallet there? You're probably too far forward. Oh, I took it. Alright, now let's, we'll take five or ten minutes. Let's drive across the map and grab a load of plastic. And just to make sure it's going to take the plastic. It should. And then I'll try, because I want to spawn at least one product out to make sure the spawners work. So let's go cross country here a minute. And let's grab a load of plastic. And if we get this one finished relatively quickly, and I still have a little bit of time, um, probably do the glue factory. The glue factory should convert pretty quick. But I know I have some plastic over here. Which one it's in is beyond me. But I think I have some plastic over here. Oh, I do. All right. So let's grab a load of plastic. I don't need a full load. Half a load will work. What else do I need while I'm over here? I'll see if I have any cotton wool or cashmere while I'm over here. Oop, did I not turn you on? Did not turn you on. So here's some plastic. Let's see if I have any cotton wool or cashmere while I'm over here. Well, we do have some wool. I can take some. Let's take. Um, Let's grab let's grab ten wool and we'll grab ten cashmere. Just 
just spin back around. We'll grab those. All right, so now it's, it'll be a good test to see if these triggers work in the factory. We know the warehouses work, we know the cell points work, so we don't have to test those. But I think I have like 20 factories on the to-do list yet before we can start working on the new map again. And again, uh, save time, I'm just going to go cross country. But then hopefully tomorrow we can str I can stream most of the day uh, with just a lunch break. That would have been good. My truck would have been sitting on its side. straightened up and back up a little bit. I didn't want to unload here, but it's unloading here. I hit the wrong button. Oh, let's try that again. You. That's what I wanted to do. All right, so our input triggers are working. So don't have to worry about that. Which lines are these gonna, or is anything active? Yeah, we can, we can, we're making doggy sweaters, we're making mittens. I don't have anything, oh, and sacks, perfect. So let's, uh, let me speed up some time. And let's now we can spawn out. So we have the doggy sweaters made. So let's spawn at least one of those out. And then what else did we have? Sacks. Let's spawn at least one of those out. And our spawners are working. So I'm going to call this factory good. So we have our doggy sweaters. We have our sacks. So all of our input triggers are working. Our spawners are working. Um, I have my smoke, so that's working. I don't see anything floating. The lighting looks good. We'll just make sure there's no other errors in the log. And I can call the textile mill done. So let's save this. <coughs> Let's get out of here. Let's check our log. Make sure there's nothing, no other, let me back out here, come back in here. All right, so no other errors with the factory, just driving dust, and that's a giant's problem. So let me close everything we were working on and I'm going to call the textile mill done. It's about 1045. I can go for about another half an hour. So let's jump in here. 
let's go to the glue factory. I started the glue factory, but it never finished it. Well, pretty much all I did was import what I needed into the this file. So this gets deleted. I'm going to open up the glass factory. We're going to grab our smoke particle. I'm going to go file, export. Uh, we are working on the glue factory particle system. So we're going to go smoke. And I'm going to bring over the fire as well. So fire. All right, so we have our smoke in the map. We have our fire in the map. So now I can fix uh, these. So fire I can now fix. This can get fixed. And this can get fixed. So our particle systems are fixed. So we have to fix our sounds and we have to fix our shaders. So new buildings, I need shaders, I need these three files, I'm going to put them here, and then that's going to get deleted. So our shaders, billboard shader, dashboard light shader, um, so building shader, hold on. Yeah, building shaders. So we have our two shaders, so let's fix these two paths. And this one. And then let's check our sound file. So shaders are good. Sounds. Oh, we're missing the sound. So we have to come back over here. And let's grab our sound file and paste it over to here. And that's going to fix our sounds. All right, so now when I open this factory up, there shouldn't be any errors left in it. And there's not, so that's a good thing. So let's create a base to work on. And we'll resize it later. It just gives us something to work on. So I got a zero UL, so you gotta go to zero, zero, and zero. These have to come out. And well, we actually don't have to make many changes to this factory at all, so I'm just going to... Um, I do have a floating light. Why do I have a floating light? Oh, because I probably eliminated something this morning. So anyway, let's get rid of this floating light. Oh, I know why it was by the railroad tracks. So that can go... Oh, I don't know if I'm going to keep that great yet or not. Let's see where our inputs and our outputs are. So our inputs are right here. We could probably make this even a little bit smaller yet. So let's take... What are we inputting for glue? We are inputting resin, raw rubber, water, and coal. So yeah, let's do that. Slide that out of the way. Slide that out of the way. Let's take this guy. Let's put him here. And we can try and make this factory as small of a footprint as we can to spawn it in to the game. So let's move our triggers over. And we should have a 
pallet trigger. So let's get it in place. All right, so there's our in taken care of. Our out, um, our glue is liquid, so there's no pallets. But let's shorten this up a little bit. So let's slide you out of the way a second. Let's take you and let's turn you this way. And we'll slide you in here. And actually, I can make this even smaller yet. All right, hold on. Let's get rid of this. Let's bring, let's bring these warning stripes over here. Let's bring our trigger over here. Let's pick up our glue over here. So, our in is done, our out is done, we're not making any changes to the main building, um, let's check our smoke. So we have one smoke, here's the generator, we have smoke at the chimney, and we have fire at the chimney. So the particle systems are done, camera's done, we got to work on our player trigger. And actually, it could probably stay where it's at. So we have our lighting and we have our audio. So um, I need, let's go file, import. I want to import in, I can import in um, it doesn't matter. Let me pull in old men's mill. because I need to steal the tour icon. Uh, so let's go edit, cut, I need the tour icon, and I need my clear areas. So I'm gonna steal this as well. I'm gonna go edit, cut, and paste, and I can delete out old man's mill. So now let's take our tour icon, let's put it here where our player trigger is, our global company trigger is. So there's going to be our global company trigger. So that's done. And we'll take our clear areas. Uh, so I got to go, actually, before I do my clear area, let's take our, let's define our factory down as small as we can get it. This way, so let's take it down here. Uh, let me go just a little bit wider. So that looks good on the size of the factory. And if you want to do any more landscaping, you can landscape on your own. All right, so let's get our corners in place so we know where the factory is going to spawn in. And there should be one more point. So let's bring this over. So there's where a factory will spawn into the game. So let me do a quick save. I'm going to actually do a save and then close. I'm going to fix that texture. So let's go back to the glue factory. And we have to fix our, the only thing I imported in, I got to fix the textures on, our, was the our, our, our icon. So let's go 
textures. Um, let's come back here. Doesn't matter which one we take it from. I just need these two files. This one and that one. So let's copy those into here. And we'll fix this and this. So that should, so we shouldn't have any texture errors now when we open this back up. And we don't. So that's clean. All right, I got a floating light because there used to be a telephone pole there. So let's check our lighting. I don't mind having a light coming out of the tank. Um, so I just want to double check our lighting. Make sure nothing else is weird. All right, so our lighting should be good. All right, so let me do a quick save. Now let's come in here. So we have, what do we have? So we're going to input resin, raw rubber, water, and coal to make glue. So what factory do I want to copy that is similar? for my files. Let me grab, let's go to an old man's mill. Let's grab everything I need and then we'll fix it. All right, so let's copy those into here. So let's start with the store photo. So it's no longer going to be um, old man's mill. Uh, let's just start with a white, clean white background. And then let's pull in, let's look at our texture files. So let's grab, uh, is that the only one I have? It is. All right, so let's grab this. Uh, so let's copy and paste. And then let's grab some orange. Let's fill the rest of this in. And we'll get the bottom filled in. And then we'll grab, let's grab like a brown. That'll work. Now let's save this. All right, so there's our store photo done. So store is taken care of. Uh, mod description. All right, so you are now going to be. What, what's the file name? Just glue factory? Yes, glue factory. All right. So glue factory, you are going to make glue our XML is going to be glue factory and there's no palette so all of these can get deleted. So mod description should be done. So let's move up to the 110. 
So first thing I want to do is change old man's mill to glue factory. All right, so it is no longer So you're going to be glue factory. You are going to produce glue. Uh, we are going to input, where's my notebook? First one on the list is resin. Uh, next on the list is raw rubber. We are going to input water and coal and coal and then these can get deleted so there's our four inputs we only need one production line because we're only making actually we're only making glue so they can get eliminated and then you are going to be glue So glue factory is going to be nice and simple. Four inputs, and we're going to get glue. Actually, I think it has two production lines. Hold on. Let me look at something. Let me go to Ritchieville. I want to look at, uh, where is it? Placeables Global Company. I want to look at the glue factory. I have one production line or do I have two? We actually have three. Um, so let me pull up the 110 from, so I want to copy this from the map. So our 110 I have yeah, I need three production lines. Glue from resin, glue from rubber. All right, so your glue, actually I can just name all three, so. Uh, so we're gonna do two, three, and I can go like that. All right, so that should fix our 110. Now you have to get renamed to Glue Factory. And then we can start fixing this. So it's going to be Glue Factory. Glue Factory, our I3D, should be Glue Factory with a capital F, just let me double check that, and it is. Our inputs are going to be resin, raw rubber, water and coal so that fixes that um, our hot spot is going to be glue factory That fixes our hot spot. We're going to spawn it in on asphalt. That is fine. Our save ID is going to be glue factory. And then the rest of this, I can do a search and replace. All right. 
that gets us partly fixed. Now, let's take it down to just a two minute delay before it updates. Um, we have, we don't have a bail trigger because we're not, we don't need to drop off anything with a bail. So let's get rid of the bail trigger. So we only have one trigger to put everything in. We have our output trigger to pick up our glue. All right, first up is resin. We have resin, and there's no visibility node, so that can get deleted. All right, second up is raw rubber. Fill type is raw rubber. So what do we have? We have 500,000 liters of resin. 500, that's good. No visibility node, so that can go. All right, next we have uh, water. And we have water and we have 500,000 liters. That's fine. And then the last one, oh, no visibility node, so that can go. And then last one up is coal. And 500,000 liters of coal. So these we can get rid of. These we can get rid of. This we can get rid of. All right, so that fixes our inputs. So we have our resin, our raw rubber, our water, and our coal. So now we're going to output glue so I don't need any of this mess. So this can get deleted. Um, trash can get deleted. Um, our output is going to be glue. And our fill type is going to be glue. And let's bump this up to like two million liters. All right, so there's our output of glue. So now if I go to the old glue factory, I want to grab these inputs and outputs. For production line one, So resin, coal, water, we're going to get glue. There's no more sewage and there's no more trash. It's just going to be glue. Our second line, we can grab our inputs and our outputs. And let's move it over to this one. So line two, we're going to put in raw rubber coal and water to get glue. And we'll come back and fix the smoke and all that in a minute. And then our last one, um, let's grab these. And it was going to be production line three. So I want to overwrite this. And let's get rid of sewage. And let's get rid of trash. This one's just for the global company menu. This one has to stay at zero. 
Um, we're going to make more glue. I want to bump these up to 12,000 liters an hour. Um, so that's production line three. This can go. Now we have to fix our smoke and our fire and stuff. So what do we have? So let's grab the operating parts from here and let's take that over to the new factory. So production line one, um, I'm going to overwrite this a minute. Alright, so we have our sound file. I'm going to delete smoke three. I'm going to leave smoke two and fire. And then this has to get fixed. And this one has to get fixed. And then we're going to leave smoke three here. So we have smoke two, smoke three, and our fire. So that's all of our particle systems. Um, we're going to go to the old glue factory. I'm going to steal this. I'm going to overwrite the new glue factory with that. And then we'll fix our lighting. Um, how many lights were in the old one? Oh, there's no lighting in the old one because it's done a different way. All right, so let's go back up. Let me do, a, let's go back up to the top. Let's pull up our factory and let's start with our clear areas. So if those are now number nine. So these have to go to nine. Our level area has to go to nine. And it's telling us where to spawn the factory in. And then our tour icon for our hotspot is number eight. All right, so that's everything up top fixed. Our inputs are good, our outputs are good, our production lines are good, and then none of this down here should have changed, but I want to always double check it. Camera is number four, um, so we should have zero, 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 and zero, zero, one, we do. Player trigger is five, so that one's good. Uh, where's my particle systems? So smoke one is 300, or smoke two rather. So we should have 300, 310, and 320. So you have to go to 320. 300, 310, and 320. And then our audio is number seven and then our trigger to pick up the glue is one and zero so that's fixed so now we just have to fix our lighting one two three four five six one two three four five six and just have to delete one lighting is now number six so these just go to a six delete the base and save it and then we'll come back to the glue factory I always check one more time to make sure I have 
no pathing issues. Everything looks good there. And then I always open it up one more time to make sure it doesn't throw any errors. It doesn't, so that's good. All of our files are done. Now I want to double check my factory XML. Make sure everything looks good here. So our inputs are done. Our output is done. Our production lines are done. So we're making we're turning the resin into glue. We're turning raw rubber into glue. This one is just for the global company menu. Alright, that looks good. Let's zip this up. Let's go to my test map. Uh, let's copy this. Let's drop it into here. Let's go back into our test map. I'm going to test this factory and then I have to get out of here. And I, like I said, I apologize. I don't know if I'm going to be back on this afternoon or not. It just depends on how long and painful the air is. I have to run R. I have glue factories in the store, so that's a good sign. for this to load. Alright, so let's come over here to where I was testing that last factory. Uh, let me grab a little bit of speed. Now this factory is nice and small. It's, let me just go let me forward time to get us back to the daylight. It's when it's dark, it sucks for y'all. You really can't see anything. All right, so let's go to our door. Now our glue factory should be in here. It is. Now the... Alright, something's... Oh, well, maybe not. Uh, let's see uh, where I want a sticker. Uh, let's come over here. Let's turn you this way. And let's drop it in here. All right, so there is our. Where am I? Back here somewhere should be our glue factory. And I just want to do a quick walk around, make sure nothing looks weird, nothing's floating. Alright, so let's look at our menu. Oh, they got something's messed up. I messed something up. Alright, so let's see what I messed up. So the 110 is not talking to... The 110 is not talking to the factory XML. So let's see what I messed up. I may have to fix this after I run my errands, but let's just see if it's a quick fix or not. So our 110 for... so it's Richie 
glue factory with a capital F, our glue factory is this one. And it's Richie Glue Factory with a capital F. What is wrong? That's the one ten I don't need. That's the one from the map. I have one, two, three, four. I have product line one, two, and three. You're the Richieville one. You're the map one. You're the placeable one. Global company placeable. Underscore oh, Richie underscore glue factory capital R for Richie capital R for Richie glue factory with a capital F glue factory with a capital F One, two, three, and four. Product line one, product line two, product line three. So we have input one, input two, input three, input four. So they're correct. Product line one, product line two, product line three. I have no idea. No errors in the log. Why is the 110 not talking to? Go back to our mod description. So, glue factory XML with a capital F. Glue factory XML with a capital F. I have no idea why these two files aren't talking to each other. I don't see anything wrong. It shouldn't matter that there's already one in the map because all my other factories are working. So global company, I'm just going to copy this line a minute. I want to throw it in here. I want to see something. So I have global company, Richie, glue factory, product line one. So that matches perfectly with that. So there's nothing wrong there. Now if I come back over here and I grab this line and I bring it over here and I go like this, that matches perfectly with that line. I don't see anything wrong. I don't see why these two files are not talking to each other. Oh, maybe because I didn't save it when I made those changes before. All right, let's do this again. Let's go. Let's go here. Let's delete this. Let's zip this back up. I think it was because I didn't save it. Uh, so let's go copy and paste. Yes, replace the file. Let's go back in the game. Mini Gaffer 04, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for taking time out of your day to stopping in and saying hello. Alright, let's go back in here. Let's reactivate the glue factory. And let's see if it's going to work. But unfortunately, I do have to get out of here like really, really soon. So I definitely got some errors running their time. So I do have to be out of here at a certain time. I'm hoping to come back in this afternoon.
but no guarantees. And I don't know how long I'm going to be gone. But we're going to make sure this factory is error free and that I have to get out of here. But I really do appreciate everybody stopping in saying hello. Alright, so let's go back to where I was working on these factories. I got factories everywhere. I think I got like 30 factories on this map now. Is this where we were working? Yeah, this is where we were working. Alright, let me go back. Let me forward time to get us back to the daylight. So y'all can see. It's okay, I'm loving this game. Well, thank you. It's, it is pretty awesome. If you're not familiar with the Richie maps and mods, you go exclamation point Facebook. We'll get you our Facebook group. Exclamation point maps, M-A-P-S, will get you to our Trello board. And that's where the links to all of our maps and mods are. Or our exclamation point donate will get you to my um, PayPal me if anybody wants to make any small donations. Alright, so let's plop this back down. And now let's make sure we got rid of our errors in the log. No, they're still there. Why is this factory not? Why are these two files not talking to each other? I'm going to have to figure this out after after I get my errors done. I don't have time to mess with this now. But the two files, the 110 for some reason is not talking to the factory XML. The factory XML is not talking to the 110. So those two files are not talking to each other and I don't know why. So I'm going to have to mess with it after. Um, sassy one, have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to have to get out of here. I'm going to have to figure out why my two files are not talking to each other. And I, can't, I, don't, I honestly don't have the time now. I do have to get out of here. So I'm going to throw you all on... Um, come on. I'm going to throw you all on ending soon. I will try my best to get back on if I have time to, to um, stream before dinner. I will do my best to get back on here. Um, if not, I will catch everyone tomorrow. So everyone have a great day.